Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokender Kumar and today we are going to understand how to write the result section of the manuscript. I'm going to discuss these points one by one so that you can understand the result section of the manuscript. If you are new to the channel, please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, if you like the uh, video, please press the like button. All right, let's discuss what is a result. So whenever you perform a particular experiment, you generate a lot of data and that data is the result of your experiment. You need to provide that data in the manuscript and that becomes the result section of your manuscript. Remember, your data can be in the form of an image, it can be in the form of an Excel sheet, uh, but before uh, getting that data into your manuscript, you need to analyze the data. So we're going to discuss all those uh, points and what are the different softwares that are available that you can use to analyze your data. So let's first discuss what are the important points uh, that you should consider while uh, writing your result section. All right. So next important point is the scientific statement. You will see uh, in many research articles, there is a statement uh, when you start reading uh, the result section of the manuscript. That particular statement is called a scientific statement. It concludes the result of that particular experiment. In, in a study, you will have many uh, experimental sections, you will have many result sections. So you can divide all those result section uh, sections with a particular scientific statements. So scientific statements are really important. Uh, to understand the scientific statement, you need to read uh, as many as a research articles uh, you can read. So and uh, after that, you're going to have uh, a basic information how to write that particular scientific statement. Basically, that scientific statement is the conclusion of your result. So if you are working uh, on a particular experiment related to antimicrobial activity, so you can write a particular scientific statement for this experiment uh, that compound X showed antimicrobial activity in that particular essay. Then you can start writing your results and that will make a, in, a reader interested in reading uh, your result section. Next important point, in your study, you will get different, different kinds of data. Let's discuss the image data. So you will have a lot of plates if you are doing a microbiological experiment. So you can uh, take picture of the plates and then you can put those pictures in the result section of the manuscript. Uh, remember, if you take a picture, you need to be consistent while you are taking the picture. You can assign a specific area in your lab and uh, provide uh, a specific lightning to that particular area so that your images are consistent. Uh, and your images, if you are consistent with the images, uh, your manuscript uh, figure will look good. So it is really important that you get consistent uh, images and that uh, so that you can compare uh, the results from those uh, images. The next important point is to analyze the experimental data. You will get a lot of numerical data from your experiments and you need to analyze the data so that you can draw conclusions from your data. There are tools. Uh, if you're new to the research, you can use a Microsoft Excel. Uh, you can use uh, GraphPad Prism. If you are uh, aware and you are familiar with the coding, you can use MATLAB. You can also use a Matplot a library, which is Python based tool. And it is very, very uh, useful tool to analyze your data. After uh, the data analysis, you will get uh, the figures and the charts. Uh, in this case, you might get line charts, you will get a uh, bar chart, scatter chart. Uh, the charts or, the, or these figures should be properly formatted. The figure legends and the, uh, the, uh, the, all the components in the plot should be properly formatted. They should be visible to the readers. For that, you can visit journal's website and try to find out if there is uh, a particular guideline that is available for the figure. So it is really important that your final figure should be uh, interactive and it should provide all the information to the reader. 
and uh, you should take care of all the figure legends, size of figure legends and all those things. And finally, uh, your figure uh, should look uh, really uh, good and it should not be too small, it should not be too large. So you need to take care of all those points very carefully. After the data analysis point, I want to focus on a very important point in uh, the results section that is table. You should provide the table because the table contains exact value of your experimental result. If someone is trying to reproduce the experiment, uh, the charts will provide the pattern of the data, but exact value is written in the table. So if you think that the manuscript it is getting too big because you are, you are incorporating too many tables in your manuscript, so you can uh, uh, compile all those tables and then you can put the tables in the supplementary sections. So it is uh, really helpful uh, for those researchers who are trying to reproduce the experiments, they can uh, read the exact values that you have received uh, in your experiment. So uh, consider incorporating a table in your manuscript. So I think we have covered most of the points that are important to write the result section. First point is uh, you should consider writing a scientific statement or a conclusion statement when you start writing uh, the result section. Second, uh, you should do a rigorous data analysis on your uh, data sets so that you can draw correct conclusion. Third, you should format uh, your figures correctly and uh, everything should, uh, should be uh, optimum in size. It should not be too big. It should not be too small. Sometimes there are guidelines that you can, uh, you can follow for that particular specific journal. And another thing is table that you should provide the table of your experimental results those values sometimes are really helpful uh, to reproduce the experiment. So these, these are the important points that uh, I wanted to discuss in, in this video. And uh, I hope uh, these points are going to help you while uh, you are writing your uh, result section. One quick request, if you uh, like the content of the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, please uh, press the like button. And if you want to support uh, my channel, you can support me at patreon.com. I will post the link in the description box. Uh, uh, and uh, I will make uh, more videos in this series so that you can understand how to write the research article and what are the essential components of the research article. I have already made videos where I have discussed uh, title, introduction, abstract, as well as the uh, materials and methods section of the manuscript. So uh, if you are interested in all those videos, uh, you should visit and watch those videos uh, very carefully and uh, focus on the points that I'm discussing in the video. Uh, I hope these points are going to help you while you are writing your research article and uh, uh, I hope that uh, your research article is going to get published in a very good journal. So that was from uh, that was all from uh, my side uh, and uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care.